Hi guys, my name is Mitch and I am an alcoholic and I have your daily reflections reading for May 27th from the Daily Reflections book, a book of reflections by AA members for AA members. And this works for NA people and pretty much life in general too. This one is titled, No Maudlin Guilt. Maudlin is kind of like a self-pity, a word that means it's uh, like self-pity and in drunkenness state, kind of like, you know, feel bad for me, uh -huh, I'm the victim, woe is me. Um, and it reads, day by day, we try to move a little toward God's perfection. So we need not be consumed by maudlin guilt. There we go. Don't sit there and feel so bad for ourselves. We're the victim. We are not. Uh, that comes from Ask Bill Sees at page 15. And it continues, when I first discovered that there is not a single don't in the 12 steps of AA, I was disturbed because this discovery swung open a giant portal. Only then was I able to realize what AA is for me. AA is not a program of don'ts, but of do's. AA is not martial law, it is freedom. AA is not tears over defects, but sweat over fixing them. AA is not penitence, it is salvation. AA is not woe to me for my sins past and present. AA is praise God for the progress I am making today. Uh, what I get from that is don't sit there and beat yourself up, make yourself feel like you're the victim of things that have happened in your past. Like I've said in other videos, um, today is a new day, you are a new person. Don't try to make everything about yourself because we tend to do that a lot in recovery as addicts we are pretty selfish and we try to make everything it's about us this happened to me why did this happen to me this is the reason I did what I did kind of like how we'll try to make any excuse to drink you know that lady Jay walked in front of me I'm so upset I need to go drink I've used this one Kobe Bryant died uh, you know any death anything really we can use and um that's kind of just we're giving too much power to outside situations that really shouldn't bother us anyway. And I was reading from another book today and it has a few things. Um, this is more along the lines of like turning bad into good again, because that's a, a good thing, you know? So if something is bad and it's bugging us and we want to use it as woe is me, we could turn it into a positive, which is what we should try to do with everything as hard as I can be. So. This comes from a book I was reading um, called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Uh, this one says, uh, the desire for more positive experience is itself a negative experience. And paradoxically, the acceptance of one's negative experience is itself a positive experience. That's just so weird and so true, you know. I'm sitting there trying to find all these positive experiences like why am I not happy already? Why am I trying to find it? And that just makes it seem like I don't have it already. We already have it. We have happiness in our hearts and in our lives. And that's the importance of gratitude lists as well. And more from it, uh, the idea that more you pursue feeling, the idea that the more you pursue feeling better all the time, the less satisfied you become. As pursuing something only reinforces the fact that you lack it in the first place. Again, We'll, we carry around this feeling like we don't have enough and we're constantly trying to find it. We're constantly trying to find what can make us happy when we should just be happy within ourselves already. All the other stuff is bonuses that come along with it. Um, the avoidance of suffering is a form of suffering. The avoidance of struggle is a struggle. Again, just hiding from, from the bad stuff, you know. We need to face it head on. And that is where we will find our growth. So we need to um, not avoid the pain, not hide from it like we used to do. I would hide in my bed and hide under the blankets, you know, for days because I was so full of anxiety and scared to face certain things like I didn't call into work or I didn't want to answer a phone call from an ex-girlfriend or a friend or some anything, you know. We all know what it is when you're hiding. We don't even know what for. 
um, because because once you become comfortable with all the stuff that life throws at you and it will throw a lot you become invincible in a sort of low-level spiritual way after all the only way to overcome pain is is first to learn how to bear it and that's where you go through the pain and you grow from it because um, sometimes it's not even as bad as we think it's gonna be so kind of getting back to the reflection um, you know we can't play victim we can't sit here and feel so sorry for ourselves we need to we need to look within ourselves and see what makes us happy anyway um, that's pretty much all I got today it's one of those days it's kind of a you know one of those down days but it is what it is and I'm sober and I'm happy and um, the Sun came out so either way I hope you guys are all doing good and, uh, wish you the best. Remember it one day at a time and uh, love you. Thank you.